Wagon Wheels, Chapter 2. Readers, before we begin the next chapter, I want to remind you that this is a historical fiction book, which means it took place a long time ago. It's a story about a family of pioneers who are moving west to get some land to build a house on. Chapter 2 Indians Winter came, and that Kansas winter was mean. It snowed day after day. We could not hunt or fish. We had no more rabbit stew. No more fish fresh from the river. All we had was cornmeal mush to eat. Then one day, there was no more cornmeal. There was not a lick of food in the whole town of Nicodemus. And nothing left to burn for firewood. Little brother cried all the time. He was so cold and hungry. Daddy wrapped blankets around him. Hush, baby son, he said to him. Try to sleep. Supply train will be coming soon. But the supply train did not come, not that day or the next. On the third day, we heard the sound of horses. Daddy looked out to see who it was. Oh, Lord, he said, Indians. We were so scared. We had all heard stories about Indians. I tried to be brave. I will get my gun, Daddy, I said. But Daddy said, hold on, Johnny. Wait and see what they do. We watched from the dugout. Everyone in Nicodemus was watching the Indians. First, they made a circle. Then each Indian took something from his saddlebag and dropped it on the ground. The Indians turned and rode straight towards the dugouts. Now they're coming for us, Willie cried. We raised our guns, but the Indians rode right past us and kept on going. We waited a long time to be sure they were gone. And then everyone ran out into the snow to see what the Indians had left. It was food! Everyone talked at once. Look! Fresh deer meat! Fish! dried beans and squash, and bundles of sticks to keep our fires burning. There was a feast in Nicodemus that night, but before we ate, Daddy said to us, Johnny, Willie, little brother, I want you to remember this day. When someone says bad things about Indians, Tell them the Osage Indians saved our lives in Nicodemus. 